Good morning. I am at my favorite place, Sonic, getting my favorite drink, a Root 44 Diet Cherry Limeade with Easy Ice because I am on my way to a very big day today. So I gotta gas up the Jeep because I'm heading to Fort Worth, which for me is about an hour away. Uh, there's a woman who is selling her glass. So she does bullseye glass. Uh, she has a lot of glass and molds that um, she's done with the, with the craft. And so I am doing a little buyout. Can't wait to show you all the glass and the molds and things that I get from her. All right, y'all, I told you I was buying somebody out of glass and I just got to show this to you. I got some uh, dichroic and a couple of stands, but this box is full and this, so there's, and this, there's a lot of, I don't know, 10 by 10 kind of pieces that size, eight by 10, that's full. I've got a whole bunch of molds. You can see all, I mean, this is the back of the Jeep and the whole back packed. I don't even know what to say. Let me come around. This, these boxes, all full of glass. <laughs> There's um, a mountain of sheet glass that's underneath all of this uh, that I very, very carefully stacked up. So I am going to get this all um, out and sorted and share with you my, uh, my purchase because I just know that you guys get geeked up about this stuff like I do. So these are the molds. There are some in here that I already have, others that I haven't even opened up. I don't know what they look like, but lots and lots of molds. So um, lots for me to <laughs> figure out if I'm gonna keep and then where am I gonna store them and what kind of shapes do they make? So I'll be looking through these. Um, honestly, I may not keep all of these. I may, may sell some. So um, anyway, watch this space. I may end up selling them on YouTube. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but uh, this is the molds as I get things unloaded. Okay, so I have a bunch here that isn't marked that I want to just fire. Some of it I have a pretty good guess. Some of it I think is just Tecta, but I'm going to do some cuts of this and do some sample firings uh, tonight. So here's a lesson. Mark your glass, people. She had a ton of stuff that's not marked, and I just uh, I hate that because I hate that I have to guess. Um, mark your glass and your scraps. Do yourself and other people a favor. Okay, so <laughs> here is the after on this. There were um, only about five or six full sheets, lots of half sheets and three quarter sheets, um, lots of eight by tens and 12 by 12s and whatnot. So I've kind of packed this thing out now. There's a lot more glass in here than there was before. Um, and then uh, lots of six millimeter, which I'm excited about that. And uh, I really packed out a lot of my scrap bins as well. So, there, you know, I have, I have a bin for yellow and orange and I had like two pieces in there and now it's packed to the top. Uh, several of these got filled up with quite a bit more. And then there's all of this uh, Tecta scrap that um, didn't get racked yet. And so that's a, that's a lot and there's a whole box of white here. This is one of the offenders. There's a lot of this white that's not marked and I don't know what it is. And I'm not a fan of dense white and I think she was. And so I think a lot of this is dense white. Some of it is marked, but not all of it. So um, that is the glass unpacking. I am going to uh, continue to work on the molds, but there you go. I think, uh, I think I'll wrap this video up. Oh, there's some more sheet glass over here. This was dense white, not a fan. Didn't even put it in my uh, system because I'm not, I'm just not a fan of this stuff. Um, but I hope you find the same opportunity I do. Just keep watching Craigslist, keep watching Facebook Marketplace, um, you know, look for fusing supplies, fusing glass, fused glass, art glass, and just see what you can find. You just never know, uh, you know, what kind of, what kind of goodies you're going to end up with. So, uh, I probably, I paid her what I thought was a fair price. She thought it was fair. She was quite excited. Um, and I probably got retail value uh, five times what I spent. So pretty good discount. A little bit of work, a lot of sweat equity, but I'm real pleased with how my collection now has grown. Mm -hmm.